Hey guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. It's been a long, long time. It's been about 11 or 12 days. And I'm just going to say this right now. I'm going to start posting at least three times a week or at least five times a week, okay? It's super important for me, especially because I see a lot of people messaging me, asking for help, asking for more information. So I know that I have a lot of uh, information up here that I want to put onto paper and then put onto a video for you guys to watch and to learn. Because again, this isn't hard. This agency online coaching space, actually getting book appointments, getting clients, it shouldn't be difficult, right? Because after you know doing this for like three, four years, it's simple. The basics is what we need to focus on. So this is what this YouTube channel is going to be about. It's about explaining the basics. It's about really understanding the mindset, the tactics, the secrets, the hacks, whatever you want to call it. I want to put it down into YouTube videos um, for free, give it away so that you can learn, you can take action. And yeah, if you don't know who I am, my name is James and I am the founder of AutomateClients.io. We are a done for you agency coaching, basically service provider that sets up and automates sales teams. So we build a sales funnel, your sales team, we create your offer. We do absolutely everything to automate your client acquisition, okay? So if you're interested in signing 10 clients, guaranteed, click the link down below in the description. It's completely a no risk to you. So yeah, feel free to check that out, uh, book a call and speak with me one-on-one -on -one, and hopefully we can help you out, okay? But in the meantime, I'm gonna create a video to go over exactly how you can sign clients by using Facebook DMs. It's a very simple process and it's the same process we use to book over 100 meetings every single month, right? So sit back, relax, take some notes, take action, and you'll start seeing results. And in the meantime, have a wonderful day, and I'll speak to you very soon. Okay, here we go. So how to sign agency clients or coaching clients using Facebook DMs, okay? You don't need a Facebook group. You don't need any content at this stage. You can literally do this from a brand new Facebook account, okay? So there's six easy steps that will guarantee booked appointments to your agency or coaching business if you follow this. And again, I've done this probably for over 50, 60 different agencies and coaches and implemented this at scale by hiring five appointment setters to do this at bottom, you know, do this at scale essentially. So uh, the, it's safe to say I know what I'm doing and that this works. So as long as you just follow step by step, um, you will get results. Okay, so first step is understanding your niche and doing the research. So let's just use mine, for example. So we service agencies, coaches, consultants. So I need to find on Facebook different Facebook groups that have my ideal client in. So the easiest way to do that is to come to Facebook and just to type in, you know, marketing agency, right? Go to groups, or events, go to groups. You can see here, there's a bunch of different groups that are for marketing agencies. So rule number one, don't join public groups because there's no barrier to entry. So you could have any man or their dog in that group, right? So you wanna focus on the private ones only. So. Also, the second point is you want to make sure there is unread posts or, you know, there's, <laughs> excuse me, so I've got a cold, so it's going to be a bit of a um, difficult one. Um, you want to find basically groups have a lot of members, but also have a lot of posts in there. So one way to check this is to go to the group, go to the discussion, um, and then go down. Obviously, you're going to have to join the group first and understand that, but not every group that is for marketing agencies or for e com brands or whatever your niche is, is going to be the good group for you. So you've got to qualify the group. That's step number two. Okay, so you go into the group, you have a look at the discussion, you know, you really just kind of figure out, are people communicating, are people talking in this group? So it looks like there are, you know, people replying 20 hours ago, uh, there's posts a day ago, there's a lot of comments, I'm sorry, a lot of likes and engagement, so it's an active group, right? However, if you go to a different group, um, you'll find that, you know, there, there's not much comments, there's not much posts. So you want an active group because you want to be talking to active people in the community that are looking for help, looking to network. Right. So once you find free groups that fit that narrative, that are active and they have your target target audience in, that's great. You can go on to step number three. I'm um, sorry. So I skipped step number three. So step number four will be your daily tasks. So this you can either hand these tasks over to a VA to an appointment sale, or you can just do them yourself. Um, and this is really really important. Okay. So step one of your daily task is going to be adding friends. I've done a video about this before, so I'll leave that in the comment section. But essentially, all you have to do is go into a group. So I use this group as an example. And you want to be adding people as friends. Now, before you add any friends, you want to come to your own friends list, okay? So come to your profile, go to friends, and then you'll go to birthdays, and you want to remove one of these friends, right? Shout out uh, Bastion Slot, actually. This this guy actually taught me this trick, so I'm not going to say I found this out on my own. You know, you learn from other people, right? So I'm not going to sit and say that I made this up, but I didn't. Um, so again, just pick someone you know that you don't speak to or you don't know, so unfriend that person there. And now I want to go back into the group, and you want to go to members and then members with things in common, right? Because this is going to allow you to send hundreds of friend requests without getting banned or without getting, you know, given a warning. So you can just go down here and just add, 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 okay? So what I say is like a rule of thumb is do a hundred of these in the morning and then a hundred of these before you log off at the end of the day. 
right? You could probably do more, but don't, you know, don't test it too crazy. 200 friend requests a day is plenty. Um, and what this will do is this will get people accepting your friend requests that are in your target audience, right? So what do you do after this? Well, throughout the day, throughout the weeks, you're going to get notifications that people have accepted your friend request, right? So Tricia, Dennis, they've all accepted my friend request. So what I do is I go to Dennis and I'd message him and I'd say, Hey, Dennis, right? Hey, I was double N there. Look, hey, Dennis, thanks for accepting my friend request. Great to connect. Now you have two options here. You want to ask him a question, right? So you can either say, Hey, what business are you building right now? You could say, I saw that you're the owner of Amplify Visibility Marketing. How is that going for you right now, right? So what business are you building right now? Right? And then what, what this is going to do, because he's accepted my friend request, it is guaranteed to hit his inbox. He's going to get notified. He's going to see my profile. He's going to see my message because I'm his friend, right? It's not going to go into message requests. So the chance of this person replying to my message is just tripled or even 10x compared to just messaging somebody cold, right? So you add 200 friends a day, you get, let's say you get 20 accepted friend requests. That's essentially 20 inbound leads every single day, right? As long as you play your cards right and you ask the right question, Dennis will reply, okay? Because, you know, even if he just replies saying, yo man, you know, I'm, I'm the owner of Amplify, I do, you know, X, Y, Z, I've opened the gateway to a conversation. And that's all we're looking for at this stage. So that's the first step. You want to be adding friends and members in common, 100 in the morning, 100 at night, and you just do that consistently day in, day out, you're going to build up your friends list of your target audience. So when you do post on, on Facebook, guess who's going to see it? Your ideal target audience. You're also going to be able to actually speak to them straight away because you're notified when they accept your friend request. So this trick alone, you could just do this trick on one account every single day for a month, I guarantee you sign a client. I guarantee you sign a client. So this is how powerful that trick is, right? So I'm not gonna go into like what you say after that just yet. I wanna show you the other ways of generating conversations with Facebook. So the next one is very simple. You go into these Facebook groups and you see who's, you know, discussing, who's talking, who's having a conversation. You know, this person here, what's the best way to get started with little experience? So you could um, do two things. You can like, and then you could give them a comment say, suggesting something. A good, a good way of commenting is obviously providing a lot of value and you know a lot of people are going to see your answer, right? So, for example, I know this guy here, Abul, I know that he also serves um, agency owners and he also is doing this, you know, he's providing value in groups and then generating interest, generating clicks on his profile, which are ultimately going to end up in leads and potential customers for him. So what I would do is I'd probably like, um, leave a comment and then also message him with the same comment in a different manner. So I could say something like... Um, Picking a niche is vital. What do you have best experience with? Or maybe what interests you the most? For example, I um, I start with ecom because that was my day job before the agency started. Right, let's provide value. So obviously answer the question, then what you can do is say, message him, say, hey man, saw your post and left a comment. What exactly are you struggling with right now? Right, start a conversation. Or to add him as a friend, and it's probably best to yeah, just leave it like that. Again, you start a conversation, providing value, and then you're going to be able to come in here uh, and have a conversation with him about his struggles, and then that can lead into a conversation, and then also a potential client at the end of the day. Maybe not instantly because he's just starting out, but in a couple of months, you provide some value, you get some good results, and guess who he comes back to? He comes back to you because you're the one that helped him get started. Right. So again, you don't have to just answer comments and reply like that. What you can do is leverage the commenters. So the people that are already posting, liking, engaging on this on these posts, these are people that are active inside the community. Right. So again, you look here 20 hours ago. Right. So Hamza, I can add that Hamza, like his comment, and I can say, Hey Hamza, saw you in a few groups. What is it? 
an agency to question marks, right? You can read again, you don't want to be copy and pasting the same message. You want to actually have to add a human touch to this whole situation because it can get messy very quickly if you just copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste. Because again, people can spot that a mile off. You want to be genuine um, and actually have real conversations with people. Um, and then, yeah, if you want to go down through, again, anyone that's liking or engaging in these posts is going to be important. You could obviously just go to straight to people that have liked and then reach out to them like this. Um, it's just a really easy way of generating and finding leads. And the last way of doing this is to go to members and then go to uh, da -da -da, members new to the group. So let me just find this. I got all the way down. So new to the group, right? Joined 11 hours ago. He's self-employed. So you can add him as a friend. Be like, hey man, hey P Gold. How are you doing, man? Saw you in a few agency groups. Are you building one for just getting started? Right, super simple. Find out where they are in their journey. Find out if he has an agency, if he has whatever business you're targeting, um, and then just provide a value, have a conversation, right? So it's what it's all about is having a conversation with people as well. So that's really the easy steps of finding people to actually reach out to. Again, you've got the ad for friends, you've got the discussion and commenting, uh, general just finding people that are interacting in these groups. And then you've also got people that have just joined the group. So people that have just figured out, oh, there's actually these groups that I can join and learn from the people, right? They're forward thinking, they're, they're actively, you know, consciously thinking, how can I, you know, how can I learn, how can I grow? And if your service is a solution to somebody who's trying to grow their business, then they're a perfect fit, right? Again, this is it, it's just volume, right? So you do this method, 200 friends added a day, that's about 20 to 30 added friends a day, probably more, I don't actually know the exact KPIs. And then you've got an easy 50 new people that you can reach out to across three different groups every single day. And then the last step after doing this is going to be, um, actually, let me do this. Let me do this because it'll be interesting. So what I like to do, especially for people that just added me as a friend. Um, so for example, we go back to Dennis. If he says, you know, I'm building an agency right now, what I can do is just cut the noise out, which actually works really well. Surprisingly, people might say, there's no value. You haven't done this, I haven't done that. I don't really care about that. I just care about results, right? So what I say to him is, hey, um, okay, I'm actually kind of because I responded. But if he does respond, what I would just say to him is pretty simple is basically put in our offer, right? So our offer right now is instantly, let me just put it up so I can show you. Instantly automate and close 10 new high paying clients guaranteed or you don't pay, right? So I just say, hey, if he says, again, let me just start again. If he says, I'm running an agency or I'm building an agency, I say, awesome, man. Just to cut the noise, we're actually looking for five people this month that want us to instantly automate and close 10 new high paying clients for them guaranteed or you don't pay. Would you like more information about this? They either say yes or they say no. If they say yes, I send them to my BSL link here and then they watch our video. They dive, you know, they basically work out if it's a good fit for them or not. And then they book a call. If they say no, I say no worries whatsoever. You know I am. I've added you as a friend. If you ever need any help, feel free to reach out, right? Or you can just say, hey, what are you struggling with right now? I'd be happy to help. Again, it's all about being honest and not trying to like ask a hundred questions and then offer them something because people just see right through that. If your offer is irresistible and you know that it can help a lot of people, then there should be no shame in putting your offer in front of the right person. Okay. I've sold many a clients this way of just being like, Hey, are you a business owner? Are you an agency owner? Are you interested in this? Yes or no? Yes, I am. Watch this video. Hey, what did you think of this video? I thought it was really interesting. Do you have 15 minutes this week to talk about if we could work together? Yes, yeah, sure, man. Awesome. Get on a call, go through the script, close the client, get the same results, right? It doesn't have to be any more difficult than that. Okay. So just so you know, like, don't ever think the conversation part. I know a lot of people put a lot of attention on like one person and spend two hours having this conversation. And it's like, well, that guy was never interested in the first place. You just wasted two hours of your life where well, you could have spoken to 30 other people in that time and gotten three yeses and two book calls, right? So it's all about cutting through that noise. Um, and again, after all of this, the most important thing is actually two things. One, understanding your target audience. I don't know why it always does this. Uh, understanding your target audience, right? So. What are their pain points? Who, you know, what is their, what does their daily routine look like? What are their struggles? You know, what, what are they concerned about? What are they happy about? Like, what are they trying to achieve? What does the market look like right now? So like e-com agencies, iOS 14 has always been an issue. TikTok's doing really well. Content's doing really well. So figure out what is working in that niche and what people are looking for. And then offer solutions around that, their current problems. So for example, on our BSL, we have um, six pain points, right? And if you can pause the screen and read our pain points, you'll be thinking about 
four to six pain points that you can also talk about and present to your target audience as well. And having it on a BSL helps massively. I've had people come onto our sales calls and say, hey, James, I, you know, I saw the pain points you talked about on your video, but also on the website, and they spoke to me very personally, and that's why I booked a call. So doing your research and showing your audience that you care and that you understand them, they, that will just help you tenfold, okay? Super, super important stuff. And the last step, right? I know I've been a little bit vague with everything and there hasn't been like a direct script, but at the end of the day, you don't need a direct script. You just need to literally find people, qualify them, offer them a, a solution, a, an irresistible offer. If they say yes, provide more, more value, provide more information, and then offer them on a call, right? Because your whole objective here is just to get somebody on the phone. You're not trying to sell them in the Facebook DMs. You're just trying to get them interested in speaking with you. And then when they're in, once they're interested, they'll go on the phone and then you can go through your script and you can you can take control of the conversation and you can present them a brilliant offer, which they're full silly saying no to. So the whole objective of Facebook and social media and outbound marketing is to get people to book a call, right? Not to sell your service. You know, some people may come on the call and want to pay straight away, but you shouldn't even be accepting that offer anyway. You should still go through the correct, correct script and the correct... Uh, motion to actually qualify them as a potential client. We say no to 70% of people that come on a call, right? We disqualify a lot of people because not everyone is ready for what we offer. And it should be the same thing for you, right? Because if you just sell your whole service to anyone that says yes, you're going to have really, really poor client results. So you want to make sure you properly qualify people and that they have the right credentials at the right stage in their business for your offer, okay? Super, super important stuff. So the last step, and I've been talking a fucking ton here, so the last step is to follow up. Now, if you do not follow up, this will not work. All right, it says to all of our appointment setters, all of our clients' appointment setters, if you're not following up at least 50 to 100 times every single day, you will not get any results. I've had clients which we signed which said, thank you for following up because I would never have responded, right? It may seem annoying from your point of view, but at the end of the day, you're trying to grow a business, right? It's a numbers game. It's input, output. It's not, oh, I've pissed someone off. It's, oh, I've sent 100 times more messages this month and I've signed 10 more clients than I did last month, right? They're the metrics you should be thinking about, not the emotional level or value of people that you're talking to at the moment, right? Because it's just Facebook PMs. If you piss someone off, you say sorry and then you forget about it. It doesn't matter, right? Move on. So following up is so, so important. If somebody responds to me on Facebook, I follow up with them at least seven times every single day, right? Yeah, maybe people will agree with that, maybe people do not, but I promise you, if you do that, you will get better results. So if you actually want to get more money on a grow a business, then that is what you need to do. You need to follow up every single day with the people you speak to until you get a hard yes or a hard no, right? Because anything else is just not worth it. I'd rather somebody tell me to fuck off than someone just never to get an answer from them and then see them go and spend two times as much on someone else's program the following week, right? Just because I didn't follow up. So it's super important that you follow up. It's super important that you go through these steps and actually just try this for yourself. If you spend four hours a day doing all of these tasks for a whole month, I guarantee you will sign clients, right? Obviously, you've got the script, you've got the, the uh, obstacles, the objections to uh, come around. And ultimately, it doesn't really matter because volume wins every single time. I'd rather have, you know, messaging 200 people a day compared to 10 people a day, right? With a kind of a script, a lot of script or like this really long conversation. So... Hopefully this helped, man. I hope you know all of you uh, learned something new. Hopefully you try and you get results. And if you do, let me know. Message me on Facebook. Join our Facebook group and you know, share your results. And um, feel free to reach out to me in the comments down below or on Facebook for any questions you have around this. Um, obviously, what I'll do uh, after going through these steps is I understand there's probably a lot of value that I've missed out as well in terms of scripts. Uh, it will take me a few hours to actually build that out. I would rather just provide instant access to to my my full process um, rather than having to spend a crazy amount of time just building out scripts for you where you might not actually use it. So if you do want scripts, if you want all of the details and the little bits that I have missed out, feel free to comment down below saying, hey, I'm interested in the script or message me saying, hey, I would love the script and I'll send it over to you, okay? So yeah, hopefully that helps. And yeah, just go crush it, man. Just go do all these steps and, and sign some clients, go through the motion, then hire an appointment set to do it for you or come and hire us to then hire five appointment setters for you, fully on commission. And yeah, we get this shit rolling. So let me know, man. Let me know if you need any more help. And yeah, have a wonderful day. Bye.